Well, hello, people. Welcome back to another episode of Space Astronomy with me, your favorite monk is mash keys. <clears throat> my voice is getting a little sore. Maybe it's because I have a giant chicken on my head. Oh, a turkey. Did we have we done the wood hat? Have we done the wither? Hmm. I'm a wizard. Beautiful. Uh, come and look at this. Look what's going on over here. What is? Close that. What is this? Why is that there? Like, no other blocks in my entire base are mossy stone except for that one. That's really weird, right? Oh, let's just make that. Isn't that, isn't that weird? I think that's weird. Okay. Well, what were we doing? Oh, yeah. Let's actually break these. Um, and maybe put in like that. And then maybe put all of this stuff back into the network. Because, you know, I'm all about my base. About my base. Clean base. No. Dang it. There was my quest book. There you go. I'll try not to sing, but I just, I feel so energetic. Energetic today, you know? Except for my throat. <clears throat> okay. We were doing reactors, okay? So, the lowest tier reactor... You can look this up on the wikis as well. It's pretty pretty easy, pretty simple. You'll you'll figure it out pretty pretty quick. The lowest tier is doesn't run very hot. So it's not super dangerous. But it's not the most efficient. So the the more efficient something it it is, the more work has to go into it, right? So this is the the bare minimum one. Probably doesn't make all that much, you know, just for instance, it probably eats up a Yellorium ingot every 5 minutes or 10 minutes, and it slowly gives you power, maybe 40 RF per tick, real low, right? The second tier up is 7x7, seven seven, so it's bigger, and then in the gaps, you basically put the block here, have you you put the power, the, the reactor rod here, and then leave the sides open, and then have the casings around the outside, right? That's that's 5x5, that's five five or whatever have you. And then you put fluid, liquid and deerium, and that's, what's, that's cooling your reactor, okay? Uh, from what I can tell, you can cool it with blocks, solid blocks of stuff too, like, say, ice blocks or gold or diamond. Uh, but from what I re recollect, the best is... Gelid, no, mm, cryo, theum. It's what? Cryo, cryo, cryothem. There we go. It's gelid cryothium. And that's by far the coolest stuff to cool your reactor. And it's made by some niter, some snowball, some redstone, some blizz powder, which is made from blizz rods. Or I think you can probably make it in a different way. Yeah, see? Redstone. Blizz powder. Uh, eventually, we'll have a blizz grinder, so it's no big deal. But that's kind of what this reactor, this quest line's doing. It's it's showing us what reactors we need. Okay, so we need cyanite. Collect four cyanite ingots. These are a waste product from the reactor. Then craft a cyanite reprocessor, which will turn cyanite ingots into plutonium ingots. Machine will also need water. Um, I think you can actually make cyanite. With sand and eulorium. So let's make... I know it's a waste product and we should have our reactor running anyway. There we go. Craft the required parts. We need a cyanite reprocessor. Oh, there we go. Mm, Perfect. Then we need reprocess the waste. We need plutonium. Mm, uh, I think we're at an impasse now. Because to get plutonium, actually, can we just from here? You? Oh man. Okay, what cyanide dust do? Well, you make the ingot out of it. Don't know why you'd ever want that, but you could. That's dumb. Um, so the cyanide reprocessor goes into the multi-block of your reactor. And what that does is it 
uses the radiation from the Yalorium to create, to enrich the cyanite into Blutonium. And I think Blutonium is better than Yalorium. Not 100% sure, but let's... So that's kind of... We're, we're at a break here because we don't want to do a reactor just yet. So that's a lot of work. Second is getting oxygen. Well, we could get oxygen, but let's let's hold off on that. This stuff requires us to go to space. I feel like we're getting on we're on our way to space. We're on our way. Mm. We want to do processing. So let's well, mm. Mm. Let's take a quick nap. Nope. Oh. That was night. What time is it? I should have a clock. In fact, you know what? I probably can make a clock. Nope. Let's just make a clock right now. Clock. Ba bam. And then we'll just leave this in our up here. So it's almost night. Get out of here. Oh, he's like poking his head through the door. There we go. Where's this king slime? He must be up here, right? Let's go kill this thing, because it's been bothering me. Oh, there he is. There he probably is. Are you the king slime? Yes. Mmm. And then... And then and then, oh. Whoa! Let's, uh, we got a better tool for this. Let's go with the scythe. Hup, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Beautiful. Whew. That. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. What did we get? Oh my god, what is, what is this stuff? Well, why is this still on? Get out of here. So it's almost night, so we, we can go to sleep. Okay, what's going on here? We got a epic shader grab bag. And we can use it to make a rare shader grab bag. We got a blue orchid, gelatinous slime, ectoplasm, miniature yellow heart, and a king slime broadsword. That's kind of cool. So let's get rid of this stuff. I feel like this is a, this is a, a reward bag, right? So I'm just going to right click it. We got a shader taken, level epic, can be applied to hold shift. Minecart, balloon, revolver, railgun, chemical, thrower, mining drill. What? What? What is this? Can be applied to minecart. Well, let's make, let's make a minecart then. What is this? Shader taken. Do I get these from bad guys? Okay, so let's make a minecart. Can I use it more than once is the question. Okay, so let's put you here. Oh, track. Can I make a track? Mm. Of course. Of course I need a rolling machine. Why wouldn't I need a rolling machine? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's do it that way. Mm. Track. Ba bam Perfect. Thank you, Osmium. Put you right here. Put you right... Well, maybe I do it like this. You. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Now do I get it back? Oh, no. Okay, then it's just a regular. But I can paint... Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, let's, let's make a rare. Click it again. Shader Chloris. Okay, what are you now? Oh! Balloon, revolver, railgun, chemical, thrower, mining drill. Okay, well, so does it just randomize? Oh. Uncommon? Click. Arrow. Okay, let's see what that does now. 
Have we? Oh, it's like slime. It's a slime thing. Oh, that's cool. Okay, can I? Uncommon. Shader Fox. Oh, oh my god. I can have a roller coaster. Look at that. Okay, um, can I go common? Well, I like the slime one though. Oh man. Oh, doing this all wrong. Oh, um, no, no more. Oh, there we go. Mass fusion. Hmm, okay, okay. I like the fox one though. Uncommon shader hollow. Hmm, that one's okay. Common. What is this? Rosen quartz. Oh, and that's it. That's all we can do. Okay, well, now we know. Next time we get any more shaders, let's not just waste them like I did. Let's hold off on this because we can, as long as this stays on the track. We can keep this rail cart. This will be our uh this will be our friend rail cart. Actually, can we do a safari? I don't think we have any ba bam. I don't think we have any gas tears. Oh, we do. Perfect. Can I get this? Because it's a entity. No. No. Okay, well, that's okay. At least we have a safari net now. Beautiful. Oh man, I'm just Oh, so a safari net. For those of you who didn't know, um let's go find a mob. Say I wanted why is all the things on? There we go. Say I wanted uh a a creeper grinder, which I do. But I haven't found a creeper grinder. Okay? So instead, what I need to do is capture a creeper to spawn it. Oh, scared me. There's a creeper around here somewhere. He might be in the mountain. Oh wait, no, you've already seen a safari net. I've used it before. But I can capture things. But it And then shift, right click to release mode. There we go. Beautiful. Throw that in our tool chest, never to be used again. Perfect. So let's go, uh, let's take a quick sleep again. Can I get my, oh, I can, that's so far away. Oh man, can I access my, go from way out here. Yep. Go from way out here. Yep. Go from way out here. No. That's so close. Oh man. So as long as, and we can increase, we could add more wireless receivers. So let's take a quick sleep and see what we're going to do. Okay. Perfect. I got to stop saying okay so much. All right. Wireless. There we go. So what do we have on the docket? Auto chisel is kind of working. Kind of. Hmm. We should do automation. It's going to be, it's, it's a hard road for me to get to automation, but we could do a banana orchard. But how, smash keys? How can you do a banana orchard? Well, I uh, will show you. Banana based empire, building block showroom, ore processing, ore processing. Hmm. The silk touched ores aren't done, but the bedrockium is done. Perfect. Quarry plus quarry. Oh, that is done. Look at us. Uh, we need a chemistry lab, though. Think of more things to do. Okay. So, if we want a banana orchard, where are we going to put it? So, I don't want it to be up here. I want it to be green, right? So, let's put it in this area. Mm, let's chop down some trees. And clear out some space. Where the heck is my... Where's my eh? This axe, perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. 
Perfect. So. Hmm. Yeah. We'll just put it, we'll put a couple banana trees along here, but it's not going to be super automated. And that's okay. I feel like that's fine. So BRB, once I clear out this area, done. Well, not done, done, done. But I'm going to make a little path here. Oh, these guys with the helmets are the ones that are really bothering me. Oh. Okay. So the path is going to be this way. Let's, can we, there we go. And then just up here. Is it getting dark again? And then, ta-da, this whole area is going to be, let me sleep. Perfect. This whole area is going to be the banana farm. Okay, and how do you make banana trees, you may ask? Well, you make a jungle sapling and a banana, but bam okay. So let's just place one right here for now. Okay. Let's hit it with some bone meal because I want it to grow right now. Okay. Perfect. You see that? You can actually hit them with bone meal and they grow as well. Mmm. Lovely lush bananas, right? Okay. Now here's the thing. You don't get banana saplings. There's no such thing. Well, at least I don't think there is. I have yet to get one. And jungle trees. Perfect. This is what we need. This is what we want. And then bam, 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 bam. Oh, look at all that. All that wood and all that saplings. Perfect. Okay. Because what we want... This is good. This is a good little tree, right? It has one, two, three, four, five bananas on it. That's pretty good, right? And there's no way to get these. If you, you know, you have to right click on the banana to get it, right? There we go. You right click and you pluck it. But if I were to sit here and punch it, I get nothing. If I try to shear it, I get nothing. Well, maybe, maybe I get something. Can we... Oh, see, I got an extra banana. Then that's good. That's good. But now nothing will grow there again. Well, I thought of something. Remember these cheaty little things? Boop. 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 Okay. Don't even care about this one anymore. Let's just chop it down. And let's see if we get banana saplings. No. So let's just plant another one. Okay. But then, while we're here... Let's just plant another one right here. It's a good spot for it. Let's hit it with some bone meal. Perfect. See that? Uh, five ripe and tasty bananas. And then, boop, boop, and up. Put that back. There we go. More ripe and tasty bananas. See that? Uh, I don't know if this is a glitch. Don't know if they'll grow. Let's go see. Put one there. Put one there. Oh, and put one there. Let's get some more. One. And this is going to look ridiculous. In fact, yeah, it already looks ridiculous. Let's put one... Uh, over here. Look at that. Look at... Oh, man. Oh. Look at my banana tree. And, of course, this is going to be what the orchard looks like. So I can just run through here and grab some bananas when, whenever I want, whenever my monkey little desires want. Of course, once... Oh, where did I get this from? Of course, this is one way to get bananas. Have a, have a lovely little orchard. But there is a way to automate it. And that's via the fruit, fruit picker. Okay. 
easy peasy, pretty cheap. And it'll pick an area, I think it's like seven by seven. But what you can do is you can increase the range with uh, MFR upgrades. Mine factory. These upgrades, with the emerald one being like 25 by 25. So it's a huge area, right? So if I put all the bananas in this area and have an MFR one over there, all these bananas will be picked. The, the bananas that are over here aren't going to get picked, but that's no big deal. I mean, we're not super worried about efficiency with our orchard. So I'm going to light this up some more, add some more bananas. Are they all facing the same way? Oh, they are. Okay. Add some more bananas, light it up. Maybe make a little path. It'll be beautiful. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Uh, can I... One more tree, please. And I wonder if height is going to be a problem. Let's, uh, hmm, let's put it right here. And bam. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like a really short one. There we go. Look at that. Look at this. We're on our way. And then we can run around bone mealing all this because, you know, I, I don't hate flowers. I just think there's too many most of the time, right? Beautiful. And yeah, we're on our way to a banana farm. But that has been a little bit long enough, right? Tune in next time. I don't think we're going to do bananas next episode. But tune in next time when we get more stuff done here on Space Astronomy. I have been your favorite monkey smash keys and you have a nice day.